our conception of democracy is coming down increasingly to the narrow notion that you cast a vote for a political party and that's your exer that's what you do as a citizen we live in a society where where courts have more and more power where the legislatures that people elect have less and less power we live in a society where trade agreements take away the power from democratic governments to make fundamental decisions. That's true in the European Union. It's true in NAFTA. What we need are ways of not only expanding democracy, but, uh, but, uh, but coming at this in its most central uh, place, which is the workplace itself, which means that over time, the people who work in a large enterprise should own and control that enterprise. Let's say we are talking about a large um, plant of some kind, where, where uh, a large industry where a huge number of uh, people work. It uh, could be an auto plant, it could be a chemical plant, uh, it could actually be in the service sector. Um, well, supposing we set up an, an employee's uh, fund uh, in that as part of, a, as a, through contract negotiations. And what we do is we say that in addition to raises in pay and better working conditions, that the workers and the people employed in this um, enterprise are going to get um, a, a part of the ownership of the factory, which is going to grow year after year. Let's say 5% a year, you can make it 10% a year, whatever you like. But the goal is that over a period of time, this workers' fund will grow to the point where over half of that company is going to be owned by the people who work for it. Okay, now that's a way of doing it. That is one specific model that can be used to then bring ownership into uh, the enterprise and to then open up the possibility of not only uh, controlling that capital so it can be used in the community where people live to their, to their benefit, uh, it also can be used to democratize the workplace.